please remain standing for the national anthem and following the anthem, remain standing for the prayer offered by Sister Lois Skulko, Vice President for Institutional Identity, Mission, and Student Life. As we begin a new academic year, we remember that tomorrow is the anniversary of 9-11, and we mourn the lives lost and the families impacted. We pray for reconciliation and peace in our nation and our world. Let us take a moment of silence to mourn all those who have died, who have suffered, and who continue to suffer because of 9-11 and other terrorist acts. We also pray for this campus community. God of new beginnings and Lord of precious traditions, we ask your blessings at this convocation on our Seton Hill College community. May this, your spirit, bring forth in us your gifts of wisdom and understanding. May we learn from each other's strengths and cherish our differences. Continue to create in and through this university a welcoming, learning, serving, and celebrating community, which enables all to grow beyond our wildest dreams for ourselves and for the earth. May our faculty and staff ever continue to learn, sharing their lives and knowledge with gentleness, peace, concern, and challenge. And may we, new and returning students, administration, staff, faculty, alumni, neighbors, together with the Sisters of Charity everywhere, enjoy learning, delight in new discoveries, embrace the community we form, and share our gifts for the good of all the world. Help us to remember the words of Elizabeth Ann Seton. Oh, the goodness of God in everything. Amen. Thank you, Sister Lois. Welcome students, faculty, staff, families, and friends to Seton Hill University's 2014 Fall Convocation. Convocation is a calling together of an academic community. Our faculty, staff, and administration in the audience have the privilege of holding advanced degrees in a wide range of academic disciplines. Our upper class students in the hall today will be honored shortly for their outstanding achievements. Each of you upper class students have fully used the educational opportunities available to you. Let today be a reminder of the gifts and talents that you possess. I welcome our first year and transfer students as new members of the Seton Hill academic community. You have completed Go Weekend, the orientation to the university, 
so that at this point you have some sense of where things are and the university's history and identity. You participated in the celebration of the university's opening liturgy, a coming together of community members which has long been a part of Seton Hill's tradition and heritage. Last week, many of you had the opportunity to share in an intellectual discussion with faculty and staff about the summer reading, The Book Thief. Today, you will see academic recognition bestowed on high achieving students who excelled in their academic work and their personal lives, and you will hear from the university's president. May the students receiving awards serve as role models, encouraging you to strive for academic excellence in the Seton Hill community. It is my pleasure to introduce President Mary Finger, who will speak to you on Seton Hill's mission as a Catholic liberal arts institution. President Finger. Good afternoon. Thank you, Dr. Gwalik. It's wonderful to be with all of you as we celebrate the Seton Hill University Fall Honors Convocation. This afternoon, we welcome, to our, we welcome our new freshmen and transfer students, and we welcome back our returning sophomores, juniors, and seniors. We welcome, to the parents who are able to be with us today. Today, I share with our new students the experience of this as our first Honors Convocation. I'm honored to have been chosen to serve as the 10th president of Seton Hill University and have been on campus since June, about three months, just slightly longer than our students who have been with us for three weeks and are now calling Seton Hill home. For those of us new to campus, these early days have been fast paced and filled with introductions to new people, information about the university and the Greensburg community, and with an open and warm welcome into the intellectual and spiritual life of this fine university. At this, the first formal event of the academic year, we come together to acknowledge the accomplishments of Seton Hill University students. As we recognize these students, we reflect on not only their achievements, but on the educational environment in which learning takes place here at Seton Hill. As an institution that embraces our liberal arts, we look to that dimension of our educational character to encourage our students to inquire deeply, analyze broadly, and interpret comprehensively. As an institution that prepares students for careers, we challenge our students to develop the specific talents and skills necessary to be effective teachers, scientists, healthcare workers, musicians, artists, business people, and a myriad of other chosen careers. As a Catholic institution, steeped in the tradition of the Sisters of Charity and St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we prepare students to live and work in a manner that reflects their true and whole promise and prepares them to make a difference in the world, to even transform it, as our mission statement so eloquently notes. This is a tall order indeed, but one that each of you students are called to and prepared for through your education at Seton Hill. This university was founded by pioneering women who came to southwestern Pennsylvania in the late 1800s, sisters of charity who believed in the power of their faith and in the importance of education, whose work was transformative then and whose legacy continues to be transformative through us faculty and staff here at Seton Hill now. We are all part of the pioneering spirit of those who've gone before us. Students, you are part of that pioneering spirit, and you will, through your education, go further than you ever thought possible, intellectually, spiritually, personally, and professionally. I know this because I have met some of those who have walked these hallways, sat in these classrooms, and trudged up that hill. All summer I've been meeting with alumni, and during these meetings, every alumna or alumnus, whether from the class of 1969 or the class of 2013, has described to me a common experience at Seton Hill, one that challenged and pushed them and helped form them to people keep capable of meeting the world head on and transforming it in their own way, pioneers in their own rights. 
I've met a 1978 graduate who was the first in her family to go to college, who acknowledged that Seton Hill opened the world for her and prepared her to think in new and expansive ways. This woman now serves as the executive director of a major foundation in Pittsburgh and helps shape national policy in regard to education, equity, and community development. I met a 2013 graduate, a native of southwestern Pennsylvania, who competed against literally thousands of other applicants for a position in fan development for a major professional football team in the Pacific Northwest. His educational experience at Seton Hill included an expansion of his worldview that he holds responsible for his ability to understand new perspectives and take risks, risks that have taken him across the country and into a position that he never thought possible before Seton Hill. I've met a 1980 alumna who is currently serving as the chief financial officer for a major company in Pennsylvania, but whose career has spanned government as well as private industry. She spoke of how her Seton Hill liberal arts education prepared her, not simply for her first position out of college, but for a career that has evolved and changed over the years. She credits her faculty for stimulating her thinking and teaching her to be nimble and agile in a changing world. I spent time with a 1986 alumna working as a partner for a top five global public relations firm who commented that in addition to providing her with education that has made her technically competent at Seton Hill, she was stretched to think in terms of ethics and the morality of choices and that that education has held her constant in a world that often encourages us to take ethical shortcuts and make easy, if not right, decisions. And I shared time with a 2010 graduate working in veteran affairs for our men and women returning from service, who spoke about the depth of his education at Seton Hill, an education that prepared him to think and write critically and speak publicly, and how that education has prepared him to speak for a population that too often cannot speak for itself. I could go on and on. I met with many alum more alumni than those I've described. But I think you see, as I have, the common themes of strong academic, moral, and spiritual preparation that has historically enabled Seton Hill students and currently enables all of you students to graduate prepared for careers in life, but also to have a transformative impact in the world in which you live. But being prepared for the world ahead requires commitment on your part. Seton, I, I encourage you to take advantage of all that this excellent university has to offer, to engage fully in your academic studies, to participate in opportunities for involvement in student government, campus ministry and service, and to do work to develop all of the gifts that you possess. As we commemorate the tradition of this honors convocation, I encourage you to celebrate your classmates who will receive awards today. They are role models and have much to teach us and I encourage you to strive to the heights that these talented young people have set. You are all capable of greatness, of embracing the pioneering spirit of our predecessors, and reaching forward to have a transformative impact on your lives, your families, and our world. We will now present this year's academic awards. Caitlin West, president of Seton Hill Government Association, will be assisting with the presentation of awards. Students selected for academic awards, Please come to the stage when your name is called. Dr. Paul Mahady, cha uh, Chair of the Division of B Business, please come to the podium. The Division of Business faculty celebrates the accomplishment of our students and recognizes those who excelled during the 2013-2014 academic year. The accounting and business faculty recognize the academic success of majors who have achieved the highest cumulative grade point average in their first year of studies in accounting and business. The Academic Achievement Award in Accounting is presented to Joseph Smith. The Academic Achievement Award in Business is presented ex aequo to Brandon J. McNeil and Ashley White.
The sports management program wishes to recognize the academic and all around success of majors both in and out of the classroom during the first year of study. The Achievement Award in Sports Management is presented ex aequo to Ricardo Hussein and Marcus Weekland. Dr. Audrey Quinlan, please come forward to present the awards in the Division of Education. Each summer, the education faculty gather to nominate a junior or senior who plans to enter teaching and shows great promise as an excellent teacher. This year, the Endowed Excellence in Education Scholarship is awarded to Melanie Dean. Will Dr. Michael Arnzen Chair of the Division of Humanities, please come forward to present the awards in the Division of Humanities. Thank you. In recognition of distinguished academic achievement in the field of communication during their first year of study, the communication faculty appoint the Freshman Scholar Award, ex aequo to Marissa, Marisa Corona, Amanda Giacchetti in absentia, Carissa Cachua, and Jamie Pas Pasquinelli. In recognition of distinguished academic achievement, university service, and community involvement during his or her three consecutive years as a communication major, the program faculty present the Communication Award, ex aequo to Cody Golan, Zachary Hartman, and Nicholas Toten. The sister Miriam Joseph Murphy taught English at Seton Hill from 1939 through 1982. Her friends, family, and students sub subsequently founded a scholarship in honor of her lifelong commitment to teaching to continue her spirit. The sister Miriam Joseph Murphy scholarship is awarded to students who show exceptional promise as an English major. This year's Murphy scholar is Jessica Walker. The Sister Miriam Jane Hollywood Journalism Award is awarded to juniors who have well represented the university and the program in the area of student publications. Uh, the 2014 Journalism Award goes ex aequo to Abby Fleckenstein and Desiree DiClaudio. The English faculty annually select a non-traditional student in the major who has demonstrated strong potential for academic success to receive an award sponsored by Nurse Janice Beckage in honor of her husband. This year's Beckage Award goes to Michael Ingram.
Pittsburgh poet Sam Hazo, former poet laureate of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and longtime friend of Seton Hill University, once compared poets to doors extending welcomes page after page. In the same spirit, the English faculty honors a student who embodies Sam Hazo's mission to make poetry an expected and readily accepted part of public discourse through its publication, performance, and exhibition. The 2014 Samuel J. Hazo Writing Award for Poetry in the Public Sphere is hereby granted to Regina Solomon. Each year, the history faculty award the Dale E. and Pearl C. Carroll Endowed Scholarship to the students who have earned an outstanding academic record and show a vital interest in the study of history. This year's scholarship is awarded to Kaylee Garhart. Each year, political science majors are honored for exceptional achievement during the first academic year at Seton Hill University. The outstanding first year student of political science for 2013 to 14 is granted to Alicia Bell. In absentia. The Religious Studies and Theology program is pleased to award the Diaconio Award which recognizes students for their commitment to both theological study and service in ministry. The scholarship award is given ex aequo to Katie Smith and Taylor Stewart. Established in 2000, the Lucille LaPoya Ponte and Catherine LaPoya Scholarship is awarded to students for outstanding promise as a Spanish major. The faculty recognize these students' hard work and enthusiasm of the Spanish club and talent as teachers and future educators of Spanish language and culture. The LaPoya Scholarship goes ex aequo to Anthony Paul Messino and Willa Black. In recognition of their outstanding service as Spanish tutors, their thoughtful, creative, and detailed research and writing, and their passionate service to the Spanish Club, the Modern Language Special Merit Award is given ex aequo to Kathleen Montefiore and Katie Kincaid. Sister Susan Yockham, Chair of the Division of Natural and Health Sciences, please come forward to present the awards for the Division of Natural and Health Sciences. The biology faculty honors the student who achieved the highest average in both semesters of first year biology during the 2012-2013 academic year. The award is granted to Zachary Herman. <laughs> Sister Ann Infanger, a PhD geneticist was a member of the biology program faculty from 1963 to 2005. Since 2005, Sister Ann has taught courses in the liberal arts curriculum. She was a passionate biology professor and advocate of student research. The Infanger Scholar Award is given in her honor to the biology majors 
who excelled in cell biology and genetics. The award is presented ex aequo to Minu Suresh, Sarah Sokol, and Zachary Scheffler. The CRC Press Chemistry Achievement Award is presented in recognition of outstanding scholastic achievement in general chemistry for the past academic year. The award, which includes a CRC handbook, goes to Benjamin Mayrow. The Undergraduate Award for Outstanding Achievement in Two Semesters of Organic Chemistry during the past academic year is granted to Kayla Persick. The award in analytical chemistry, sponsored by the Division of Analytical Chemistry of the American Chemical Society, is awarded to a senior chemistry major who displays an aptitude for a career in chemical analysis. The award, an honorary membership in the Division of Analytical Chemistry, and a subscription to its journal, is awarded to Natalie Balfe. The Sister Mary Leon Betwee Chemistry Scholarship was created in remembrance of Sister Mary Leon Betwee, a member of the chemistry faculty for 16 years. The award honors a senior chemistry major who exhibits the qualities that Sister Mary Leon sought to inculcate in her students. A spirit of creativity and independence, scholarship, excellent laboratory technique, and a serious intention to pursue a career in chemistry. The award goes to Natalie Balf. <laughs> Patience Klopp was a member of the class of 1951 a devoted teacher and a gifted mathematician. An award in her memory for excellence in mathematics is given to Benjamin Alport. The Seton Hill University Coordinated Program in Nutrition and Dietetics strives to prepare students who demonstrate a commitment to community and professional service. The Nutrition and Dietetics Service Award is presented ex aequo to Courtney Byron, Colleen Davis, Alisa Morozik, and Victoria Morneau in absentia. Mr. Larry Jeske, Chair of the Division of Social Sciences, please come forward to present the awards in the Division of Social Sciences. The Sister Rose Angela Cunningham Scholarship 
recognizes a student who demonstrates outstanding academic achievement, praiseworthy contributions to the service of the Family Consumer Sciences program in the Seton Hill community. Also, there's a commitment to the profession uh, for the, to receive this award. The Cunningham Scholar is Tiffany Townsend. recognition of outstanding academic achievement, the Human Services faculty present the Human Services Academic Achievement Award to David Tharp in absentia. In memory of Dr. Janice Yazinkowski, a scholarship is awarded to a psychology major who exhibits outstanding scholarship, leadership, and services to others. The Ezanowski Scholar for this year is Brianna Martz. In memory of Beth Ann Johnson, a Seton Hill student whose life was extinguished in the downing of Pan Am Flight 103, a scholarship is awarded annually to a psychology major who exhibits outstanding scholarship, leadership, and service to others. The Beth Ann Johnson Scholar is Shelby Romanic. The Social Work Program recognizes students for outstanding academic achievement in social work and in all other studies at Seton Hill University. The Academic Achievement Award is presented to Rachel Legan. Dr. Kurt Scheib, Chair of the Division of the Visual and Performing Arts, please come forward and present the awards for the Division of Visual and Performing Arts. Uh, thank you. The art faculty honors their students by selecting their works for the January and summer student exhibits at Harlan Gallery. Congratulations to all who were selected. I trust you know who you are. The Josepha Filkowski Scholarship is presented to a junior art major who has shown continued growth as a creative artist and who has striven for excellence and consistency in art production. The student is considered as showing the promise of pursuing their creative and artistic abilities as an important element in their future goals. This year, the award is presented to Molly Zindash. Outstanding contributions to the art program, the art program service award is given to Jessica Heigl. The program in visual arts honors senior art majors who have achieved a 3.7 or higher grade point average in their studio and art history courses. This year, the award goes, is given ex aequo to the following students. Haley Burns, Julian Davis in absentia, 
Frank DeCellis, Jessica Heigo, Harley Pellegrino, Lakin Weekland in Abstentia, and Sister Anya Yu in Abstentia. The music faculty honors the following students for excellence in coursework, performance, ensemble participation, and overall service to the program in music. The following award is given to the following students. Um, first, for commendable work in the freshman year, the award is given to Blaine Brubaker, Elena Kaufman, Casey Myers, Jacqueline O'Neill, Olivia Rakus, Marianne Rulapa, Lucy Sidor Franzak, Heather Westling, and Zenia Yelovich in Abstentia. For commendable work in the sophomore year, the award is given ex aequo to Evan Bellis in Abstentia, Kristen Cassavant, Emma Ferment, and Michelle Cardos. The Presser Undergraduate Scholar Award in Music is presented by the Theodore Presser Foundation to an outstanding music major for the senior year of study. The student is selected by the music faculty on the basis of musical and academic achievement and is awarded a monetary grant. The Presser Scholar for the 2014-2015 academic year is Alexandra Swartz. The theater and dance faculty recognizes those students enrolled as theater and dance majors who have maintained a grade point average of 3.7 or higher while participating in required production assignments. The, the award is presented to the following students. Sarah Celli, Rachel Friend, Zuri Hodge, Rachel Kopetsky, Nicole Makos, Anna McDunn, Kathleen Montefiore, Jamie Pasquinelli, Chelsea Pollock, Christina Riggins, Kelsey Riker, Abigail Sarnaki, Alyssa Schaefer, William Smolter, Veronica Vento, and Courtney Woodhall. The Elise Saracini Scholarship is awarded annually in memory of Elise Saracini, a victim of the bombing of Pan Am Flight 103 over Lockerbie, Scotland in December of 1988. The scholarship is awarded to a junior visual and performing arts major who is involved in several fine arts areas and who, 
like Elise, is a spunky lover of life. This year's scholarship is awarded to Eric Wheelock. Dr. Gwalak, please return to the podium. Five students were elected this year to be listed in the publication Who's Who Among Students in American Colleges and University. Chosen on the basis of outstanding scholarship, service to the university, and leadership in co-curricular activities, they are Paige N. Elevani in absentia, Kristen M. Cassavant, Catherine W. Gammon, William D. Smolter, and Tyler J. Zimmer. The Student Success Department is proud to recognize these students who have earned the highest cumulative grade point average and who actively participate in the CAPS program. The first year CAPS program award is presented to Chelsea Pollock. The Sophomore Caps Program Award is presented to Taylor Wally. The Junior Caps Program Award is presented to Natalie Lucas. The Sullivan Awards are given to the members of each class who have completed the year's work with the highest grade point average. For the highest average in the junior year, the award is given ex aequo to Haley Burns, Ashley Krzynski, Caitlin Snyder, Sarah Sokol, and Matthew White in absentia. For the highest average in the sophomore year, the award is given ex aequo to Michelle Malik, Megan Shale, Michelle Water, and Jessica Walker. For the highest average in the first year, the award is given ex aequo to Angela Bobak, Heather Bosco, Catherine Bowser, Connor Gerhard, Patrick Hagee, Zachary Herman, Zuri Hodge, Samantha, Samantha Howell, Diana Mansour, Brandon McNeil, Miranda Paoli, Joseph Smith, Jack Wardale, and Ashley White.
The Reeves Library Undergraduate Research Award is intended to recognize and encourage the development of information fluency in resource-based research. Two monetary prizes are awarded, one to a first, first year or sophomore student and one to a junior or senior. The win winners are chosen by a panel of librarians and faculty from across the university. This year's winner for the first year sophomore division is Ashley White for her research project, The Impact of Fundamentalism on American Women. <laughs> President Finger, will you now present the President's Service Award? In the fall of 1987, Pope John Paul II visited the United States. At a meeting, the Pope asked our presidents to call our students at Catholic colleges to lives of service on behalf of others. The special award, which is presented now, the President's Award for Service, is made in response to that call. It is presented to a student in recognition of exemplary service to others. Will Catherine, Katie, Gammon please come forward? Whereas Katie Gammon, a Bachelor of Science and a Master of Science student in the Physician Assistant Program from Lexington, Kentucky, has demonstrated exemplary commitment to Seton Hill University and to the local, national, and international communities. Whereas Katie participated in summer Appalachian mission trips to help build and repair homes and traveled with the Seton Hill Griffins at Work Habitat for Humanity Group to Hardin County, Kentucky and provided assistance with painting a mission church, painting and organizing a resale store, and roofing a new home in construction. Whereas Katie volunteered at the Catholic Action Center in Kentucky and was instrumental with recruiting additional volunteers to also serve. Whereas Katie participated in the Seton Hill Green Thread Garden, planting seedlings, organizing student crop pickings uh, groups on a regular basis, and assisting with the canning process. Whereas Katie mentored and tutored at the Carnegie Center for Literacy and volunteered at the Westmoreland County Food Bank. Whereas Katie volunteered at Braveheart Camp for children who are heart patients and volunteered at a Christmas store for disadvantaged children. Whereas Katie served as a volunteer athletic training, trainer for Seton Hill University. Whereas Katie participated in campus ministry and served as a lector for Sunday liturgies and volunteered for the labor of love and Martin Luther King Jr. take the day on annual service outreach programs. Whereas Katie demonstrated initiative and leadership in the Seton Hill community as a member of the Seton Hill Government Association Executive Board and Senate, as an orientation leader and a student ambassador, and as a member of the Running Club and the Physician Assistant Society. Whereas Catherine W. Katie Gammon consistently lives her values and offers her leadership in service to others Seton Hill University recognizes and honors her. Our traditions at Seton Hill done every year in much the same manner because that is the way they were done in the past. In fact, the old medieval Latin meaning of tradition, handed over, will come alive in the receiving line today, which follows the convocation, when the new students will be, quite literally, handed over from one Seton Hill officer to the next. First year and transfer students, please remain seated after the alma mater. Academic marshals will escort you to the receiving line. Please stand for the singing of the alma mater. <laughs> 